I'm Gina Beck. This is Drew Williams. Thank you for listening, like, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate y'all, especially for the reviews on Apple Podcasts. It really means a lot. Yeah, and like I always say, I love seeing hashtag banana cats and seeing the regular names. Thank you guys. One, sometime we're going to have to shout all you guys out because it's seriously the same people every time. So thank you. How are you, Drew? I'm doing really good. How are you? I'm doing good. Just living. I have a lot I want to talk about on this. So let's just dive in. There's a lot, a lot going on, like maybe information overload. And if you've been paying attention, awesome. I don't really have to explain much, but I'm going to give some context behind everything. That way people are not just like who love to listen to us are not lost, you know? So there is a whole beauty community here on YouTube. And I have, you know, watched, I'm not a big fan of anybody or nothing like that. I couldn't recommend anybody or anything like that. I just know of people and I know of situations and I watch certain channels that explain things in detail and are very good with their sources. So you guys, if you do know, there's Tati, Tati Westbrook, who I feel like, I I don't really know her that well, but I know that she has a brand and I know that she uh, does makeup and stuff on her channel and things like that. So she made a video canceling James Charles, and it was over promoting Sugar Bear. When I guess now she has a video out, a video out saying that actually she made that video because Jeffrey Star and Shane Dawson were in her ear, claiming that James Charles is a predator and they have proof. So people are furious because now it's coming out that Shane has made tons of videos in his past you know, fake masturbating to a poster of Will Smith's daughter, Willow Willow Smith, right. And, you know, just being very vulgar to her poster. He had mentioned that he, uh, on a podcast, was talking about a six-year-old on an Instagram and how she was so, like, sexy. Yeah, I was going to say, he calls her a sexy six-year-old. It's pretty gross. Yeah, he got into detail about it, very vulgar. He didn't see anything wrong with people Googling images of babies. You know, he was just being very descriptive. We can link those things in the description so you guys can hear and make an opinion for yourself on what he has said if you haven't heard it yet. Um, it's been all over, so I'm not, I don't know how you haven't heard of it. Also, just racist videos. He did, like, a, a blackface. He also did, like, uh, numerous other videos that are on like Twitter and other platforms. Uh, I think he dressed up like Nicki Minaj, did a whole skit about her. In his mind, it was jokes and just bad humor, et cetera. But I just think that there's no excuse for it. Like, what do you think, Drew? What what is your stance on it? Shane, Shane's a weird, weird, weird man. I don't even know. Like, I only knew him from his crappy conspiracy videos. I didn't know he did a lot of other stuff. You didn't like his conspiracy videos? No, they're uh, th- that guy doesn't do any research. It's just fucking him repeating shit he heard from Alex Jones and not well. Like at least Alex Jones gets proven right sometimes. Like he's just honestly, I liked his conspiracy videos. I was a like, lot of people do. A lot. Of I people can't do. watch him now. I can't watch him now after knowing everything. He's he's not on my. Do you know uh, how I am? I'm like a super skeptic. Yeah. So fucking. He's, right. He's not, yeah. I already I already didn't like him, and then this stuff. You like the facts. <laughs> yeah, I like actual facts. I mean, I really yeah. wish conspiracy, a lot of them were real, like Bigfoot and shit. I just, we can have that, another subject on another room. I don't like his <laughs> videos, but yeah. if you listen to him and the things, especially the things that he talks about, he just seems to defend pedophilia. That's really what, like, t- the racist stuff is gross. The blackface, I think that was very poor judgment that could have been researched really easily that it's not a good idea to do those. But those, I think if you could actually learn a lesson from them and explain to people why they are bad, that's not, that's not so bad. You can, you can learn to get rid of those type of things, but pedophilia, those video, those, those clips from those podcasts. And then the, 
with Will Smith's daughter. They're just weird. Like I'm into dark humor and things like that, but they're not even funny. Like they're, they're, they're not even a amu- They're just a weird, pathetic man making really sick jokes about children. Like, and it's, I know people are going to be like, Oh, pulling out this comedian that made jokes. Some comedians are very good at making very dark humor jokes, but you got to be a pro. I mean, and I don't feel like Shane Dawson is a pro at fucking delivering shit like that. No, and he also did it when he was younger. Okay, and some people want to say, oh, he was younger. Like, that happened in the past, right? But, like, he's 30 years old now, and he just now deleted those things because of the internet coming at him. So, in my opinion, you know, if you want to stick up for him because he was younger and, like, he's grown now, no... No, 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 because he just deleted that stuff. He just realized it. When he could have realized that, like, maybe that stuff was way too out there years ago. You know what I mean? And then just, that's different. It's just, everybody grows, I feel like, and you realize your mistakes. But when yeah. your apology video and stuff like that is, uh, you just, like, see through it. You just see that he just wants people to um, we, just get over it. To me, you know? like, and I'll link, we'll link it in the description. I watched a doctor to break down some of this, but his accountability video, he doesn't seem like he really takes accountability. Like, he almost talks about everything he did as if, as if it was, like, another person. Like, right. and I get that. I get that theory, like, you're not that same person, but it's, like, to me, it's just, like, well, I don't like that person, so... I'm sorry. Like I just, I, it was eight minutes of over explanation. It just seemed like there's more, you got some other skeletons in your closet, bro. Like what else is in there? And Jaden uh, and Jada, they both wrote tweets about what oh, yeah. happened. He Jayden said, called him out bad. Yeah. He said, Shane Dawson, I am disgusted by you. You sexualizing an 11 year old girl who happens to be my sister is the furthest thing from funny and not okay in the slightest bit. His mother had said, Shane Dawson, I'm done with the excuses, is all she put. Yeah, I so mean... So they just, like... Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was gonna, no, 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 no. I was uh, like, the the Smiths, I mean, that's a very well-respected family. People love them. And you're not going to win against them. I'm, I'm sorry. You're just not going to win against Will Smith and his empire. And... I, I think they have every right to be discussed, especially your brother. I'm like, good for him. Good for him for sticking up for his sister like that. Like, yeah. that's awesome. I, I love seeing sibling stuff like that. It's great. It right. needs to get called out. And I think Shane has such a big platform that he'll always have some kind of support, right? Whether he wants to stay on the internet or not is up to him. I don't think, I don't think anybody can truly cancel someone because it's up to you whether you post things on your channel or not. And whether you do or don't, no matter what, there's going to be some kind of people either missing you because you're not or watching because you are. Like, you, when you have that big of a fan base, they don't all just go away, right? So some things that are resulting to what has happened is his book got taken off the shelf at Target. And also all three of his channels are now demonetized. They don't have ads on the channels. So he's not getting paid by YouTube or Google. And... I wanted to read something that I had taken a picture of from his book. Oh, I didn't. I Yeah, no, no, no. Absolutely. Bring that up. I didn't. You. I was hoping you dug a little bit more because if anyone else is listening right now and feels lost, I spent two days trying to follow a lot of this and I understand some of it, but there's a lot of stuff. It's just overwhelming with facts and you don't know it's true. So if you feel that way, just know that I feel that way too. Uh, but it is a and I very... feel like oh, I'm sorry. I feel like I feel like more is coming out. Also, is all I was gonna say. And I think after we release this episode, you know, within days we're gonna hear more. If not, about as we release the situation, it. <laughs> right? Or tomorrow before we release it. <laughs> Something that someone had put is he said in his book, it's called "I Hate My Selfie," uh, that he was never molested. And now he's screaming at Tati saying that he told him about her abuse. He's screaming that she's manipulative and that he was molested. Did he forget he said that never happened? The joke in the book is, I'm slightly offended I was never molested. Exact quote talking about what he looked like as a boy. 
What he had said is, my eyelashes were literally three inches long and made audible flapping sounds when I blinked, like a fairy flying through the clouds. I'm still shocked and slightly offended that I was never molested. The person had continued to say, stop flip-flopping about molestation, just bringing it up out of nowhere is a joke. It's so weird. Those are exact quotes out of his book, which Target has taken off the shelf. Good for them. I mean, I'm not into book burning, but I mean, fuck pedophiles. Like, the, he just has so many signs of being just this extra weirdo. He's he's telling people, like, in some places that he's never been molested. He's telling people in real life that he has. And then he's making all of these sexualized jokes about children. And it's just, it's just not okay. So if you guys know anything that we haven't mentioned uh, or that we're missing, let us know in the comments. If you are so confused and are lost, I'm so sorry. We'll leave some links in the description. I know this isn't stuff that we normally talk about, but we talk about celebrity predators, and he sounds like a celebrity predator to me. So thank you for listening, liking, and commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, Banana Cats. Much love. Thank you, guys. Banana Cats. Peace.